good morning students today we will study the very first chapter of learning a book the last lesson by alphonse dedet so in this chapter what we will learn today new words and phrases of this chapter concept and theme of chapter characters there are two main characters m hamel and french the student and the teacher a role of mother uh, mother tongue and phrase linguistic chauvinism so before going ahead we should know what is the background of the chapter actually in 1870 71 there was a war between frank uh, friends and prussia that was called franco prussian war and <clears throat> the <clears throat> you can say a uh, war was led by bismarck due to which france lost two states these two states were alsace and lorraine so now these two states were under prussia and this chapter wherever it was written it was written somewhere in this alsace state okay dear students now let's start and in this chapter we will also get to know what are the uh, you can say demerits of war okay so what is the opening scene in opening scene we will get to know that <clears throat> the boy french is going to school as usual late and the teacher yesterday has given him the work homework you should say rules of participle but he never learns his homework as we know that he is irregular in studies and uh, he never focuses on his studies thought of a running away on the way he made a plan to bunk the school if he goes out of the school what he will do he will enjoy chirping of birds will seek eggs of birds or will go in open field of show meal or drilling of prussian he will enjoy these things and lastly uh for a moment he thought about all these plan but suddenly his mind changed and he hurried off to the school okay he dropped his idea of running away or bunk to bunk the class he hurried off to the school <laughs> then when he was going to the school he was passing through the town hall and there was a bad thing for him that bad thing of bulletin board means notice board in the town hall and every bad news whether it was the news of lost battles or anything else for the boy french every bad things come over there on bulletin board that's why it is called the bad thing for french it, he did not focus over there and he moves on suddenly a blacksmith boy watcher stopped him and say don't go so fast bob you have plenty of time you will see this sentence over there in the book when we will read this uh, this uh, chapter so don't go so fast it's just a comment beta this is the comment given by the boy blacksmith boy watcher because he knows it very well that it is not the first time for friends to get late daily he gets late then uh what is general scene as he moves in the school before entering the class the writer alphonse dudet describes with the help of narrator who is the narrator the boy french okay so with the help of narrator he describes the general scene of the school what is general scene general scene hustle bustle generally in a school we get to hear some kind of noise lesson repeated in the classes scratching of benches and teacher ruler of course without this at that time the classroom was not completed then he moves on in the school and seems a sunday morning suddenly he observed that there was a great silence okay generally it happens what 
that teacher's ruler repeating of lessons and all these sound comes out like ringing of bell in the school this is general scene but here today fans observes that it is silence it seems like sunday morning and then he observe the class as he moves inside then he observe the class teacher who is the teacher m hammer takes round in the class ruler was under his arm and friends was frightened why he was frightened because as he gets enter definitely the teacher will ask him his homework and dear students i just tell you being a french man french does not know how to write and how to speak french positively french language so how can we say that he is a french man now i am him added so now i am him added it means when the boy reached in the class and then he say go to your place quickly he says this word to the boy french and he says we are beginning without you friends he say this one after that the real lecture of starts of this class like tracing sense of the class tracing sense of uh, sorry so the boy friends gets back to the uh, to back uh, get back to his respective place where is his respective place in the last bench of course so then he goes over there and sits over there and then he observes the teacher was wearing little black silk cap embroidered and this dress he generally wears on inspection day and prize distribution day but today there is no inspection and there is no prize distribution what could be the motive of wearing this particular dress understood so this dress he generally wears on these two occasions but today neither inspection nor prize distribution day so what could be the reason over there thereafter village people sitting at the back of class he observes that he is the last one who sits at the back but today there are some other people those who are sitting behind him so out of them mr hoser was there having an old primer former postmaster was there former mayor was there so these three people the writer or the narrator french or the writer alfon dudet had described these three characters out of the village people and these village people they have come here just to show respect to their language and to show faithful service of m hammer of 40 years because he has been teaching in this school since 40 years so these two things is being focused over there then the class was about to begin and suddenly the teacher left his chair and he did an announcement he said an order has come from berlin what is, where is berlin berlin is the at that time capital of prussia the central point of prussia an order has come from berlin to teach german in all the schools of alsace and lorraine got it what which language they will be taught german and today is the last lesson of which language french language okay then he also said tomorrow your new teacher comes and this is my last lesson this was the announcement it was not an announcement i should say it was an order came from berlin to teach german okay so as the boy heard these words he felt thunder clap these words because he never thought of such announcement or order and he never learned his language mother language french he felt sorry now oh the wretches this was the reaction of the boy means i will this is for german people then french feel sorry for not learning french language 
does not know how to write or read French language. He felt sorry himself because he passed his days without learning his mother tongue even. And then how cranky he means he remembers. He remembers that throughout the past time how cranky means strict. He means amiable was. Now he also creates a soft corner in his heart about Mr. M. Hamel. Then, about homework. Now, the time gets started and uh, M. Hamel wants to ask the question related to rules of participle to the boy. The boy heard his name. M. Hamel called his name, French, wanted to deliver everything in one go. What did the boy want? The boy want that he will get up and he will deliver the content of rules of participle very fast. Got mixed up. As he stood up with the very first letter of participle. He mixed up. He got confused with the very first letter of participle. And he bent his head down. He bowed his head down. And could not speak even a single alphabet of participle. Then, lecture of M. Herman. In this one, we will get to know what kind of thing M. Hamel had done earlier and the boy himself. Won't scold you. He says, I will not scold you. I have plenty of time. This is the, uh, you can say, human tendency that everybody does, like we people also. I have plenty of time. The same thing happened with the boy. He used to say to himself or the teacher, that I have plenty of time, I will learn my language, I will learn my language, tomorrow, 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 but tomorrow never comes. So, neither speak nor write French language. We know it very well, the boy never speak. Speak in the sense, the very good kind of French language, he could not speak and he could not write French language. <laughs> and he pretends, he pretends to be a Frenchman, just to show he is a Frenchman. But, he never speaks or he could not write or you could not speak French language properly. Then, parents want. What does his uh, parent want to put you to work in a sawmill or in a mill and you will become a helping hand. He will earn little money and that will be helping hand. This is also a choice given by the parents if their word does not study then two important questions the teacher asked to the boy like have i not sent you to water my plants he asked to the boy friends have i not sent you to water my plants whenever you went there i skipped your lessons second thing did i not just give you a holiday when i went for fishing whenever the teacher was absent in the school. At that time, he also provided a holiday to the boy. So, these two questions show that not only friends, but also the teacher is responsible for learning language. Then, French language. These are the point of view of I am about French language. What? This is the most beautiful the clearest the most logical language of the world of the world and the last thing he said we must guard it guard him to secure it because it is a time to show to the world that they should have a soft corner to their mother tongue to protect it and to save it to be diminished then teaching in class first of all the grammar lesson was started and when the boy focuses each and every alphabet or the word of grammar, then he said, it is so easy, so easy. Then writing section was started. And in this section, the class was totally silent. And when uh, the chapter was going off writing section, then scratching of pens was only hearing in the class. The sound that was coming off, scratching of pen on the paper. And suddenly some beetles flew in the class. Even a small child of the class does not focus on beetle. It means they were so eager to write something on their last day of the lesson. Then, 
Suddenly, on the roof, some pigeons they started cooing. Then the reaction of French. See, will they make them sing in German? Even the pigeon. This is the comment given by the boy to the German people that they have imposed their language on us. If they have good kind of commands, then they should make the pigeon to coo in their German language. Then it is somehow a comment given by the boy. Then recitation of the babies like ba baby bo bo. Okay, in the class. And then we know it very well. Mr. Hosser was sitting with their with his old primer of French language. Then he follows all these. Uh, you can say recitation, and suddenly he cries. He cries and he became emotional. Likewise, his voice trembled. Why? Because once he recites these alphabets and secondly, his heart was full of emotions. Tears were in his eyes and his voice was trembling. It was a mix-up situation. Mix-up means happiness was also there, that he was learning something. And sadness was also there because it is the last day of their mother tongue. So this is the situation. And lastly, ending of the story, what do we get in end, ending of the story? M. Hamel wanted to deliver something by the end of the lecture. He started speaking I, I, but suddenly his voice choked. Okay, and he became emotional because he could not speak something. And then he took a piece of chalk and he write on the blackboard with capital letter Viva la France. This is in the French language. It means long live French. It is just a hope by the teacher that French you may live long. And after that, he put his head down and he gave a gesture by his hand to show the school is dismissed. You may go. And by this word, he ends the last lesson. Now, students, uh, just come to the two words, very important words of this chapter. First was procrastination. Procrastination. What is the meaning of this one? An act of putting off doing something or thing that you should do till another day simple in simple words postponing it is a human nature to postpone the thing like the boy did in the chapter like i have plenty of time i have plenty of time i will do it tomorrow. i will do it tomorrow all this this is the you can say thematic word of this chapter second one linguistic chauvinism what is linguistic chauvinism? A belief or faith that your language is superior to others. Superior to others. Okay. So, this is the linguistic chauvinism that is given in this chapter. Even though we do not have this word throughout the text of chapter 1st, but by the last page of questions we have and this is the one point that has been discussed indirectly in this chapter so my dear students you have to learn these two words very carefully procrastination that will come under theme and this one linguistic chauvinism okay so the remaining questions and doubts we will have in next video till then Read out the chapter and do your study honestly. Thank you. Have a good day.